What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about SoundHound. I want to go over some of the current data points and break it down on what will it really take for SoundHound to move up higher. Before I get into any of that, make sure I hit that thumbs up. And with that said, let's get right to it. Right now, it is down 1.52%, very little volume. So 18.5 million shares being traded, 95.1 is the average. So institutions aren't really getting into SoundHound as much as they were yesterday. And yesterday was a very good representation of if you have capital coming back into this stock, Talk it is going to run. So as you can kind of see, it went up to around that $5.80 range, still within uh, the set parameters of the technical. So I'll talk on that in a second, but there is ultimately two things that will be needing to happen in order for SoundHound to move up higher. One is coming from the company. So the company does need to put out some news because for a momentum play, you need constant reassurance, whether it be coming from a third party or from the company itself. And the company has been relatively quiet. Uh, I think it's still good, but still bigger picture, it has been relatively quiet. So that is something that does need to happen in order for institutions to feel a little bit more comfortable. Of course, Q1 numbers are now locked in. So once probably in 45 days from now, they'll be unveiling their earnings. But in the short term, you also do need the feds to cut rates because you do see a lot of growth stocks and momentum plays that have been starting to pull back. And that is because the optimism associated to the feds cutting rates is starting to diminish. Going into yesterday, you had Powell essentially assuming and kind of giving the market the assumption that there's going to be about two or three rate cuts, which I think is fairly good. Initially, there was an assumption that would be five, but then you also did have some increase consistent information. So you had, for instance, Goolsby, who did say that if inflation does continue to move sideways, that there might not be any rate cuts whatsoever. So the market took this and just like panic because of course you don't want inconsistent information coming from the feds and so in reality i do feel that it's going to be one of the two attributes in order for soundhound to move higher is the feds cutting rates whether it be in june or july but technically on a side note though on the technicals it has been holding up fairly well in comparison to a lot of other growth stocks so that is something to kind of consider and as of right now though i'll give you a quick overview of shorts it is at its all-time high so currently 17.03 percent of the free float is being shorted that is the all-time high short interest roughly in as you can kind of see october it did get to the 16 and a half and 16.8 i think was the high but 17.03 percent of the free float is being shorted is a all-time high short interest for soundhound so again in order for shorts to leave you will need uh, an inflow of capital and that won't happen unless the company puts out something substantial or technically the feds cut rates so that's just my opinion at least on soundhound i'm not a financial advisor though so you guys do whatever floats your boat currently shorts are returning a very small amount so 14,000 shares utilization is 97.22 short score is 77.16 and then cost to borrow average is 20.23 percent and then looking at the interactive brokers it does indicate around 1.4 million shares available to be shorted so you do see a jump up ultimately went from about 450,000 to 1.4 for. So no doubtably a institution did recently buy whether it be uh, happened yesterday due to the capital, but some institution did buy for the purposes of lending out shares. So again, that's something to kind of just be aware of looking at some of the options, $828,000 in calls being purchased versus 388 inputs, but sentiment wise, 47% of all the options being done today are bearish. And looking briefly at the call options that are being purchased, there is a consensus for it to be above 550 by the end of next week possibly even touching six then looking at puts you do see a consensus below five so in my opinion the risk versus reward is still very much there and it has been there for a while now so a lot of people still do believe in soundhound behind the scenes i see it in the comments a lot of people have been having uh, good averages relatively and still do believe in the company that's going to be a very big deal going forward and plus also on a side note i think in reality a lot of negative news has been coming out so to the EV sector. So I think that behind the scenes hasn't really been helping SoundHound all that much. But I just wanted to draw your attention to April the 19th. This is where you do see a lot in open interest. So if SoundHound, for instance, is to be above $7, for instance, by April the 19th, 
then you will see a nice gamma squeeze because based on all of these options right here, this would cause market makers to really get into and cover a lot of those options, causing a very nice appreciation in the stock price. So options, definitely very interesting. Like I've said in previous videos, SoundHound is more of a hybrid stock. So it has a very good momentum play and has proven itself time and time again that it can and will get a lot of volume and attention from institutions it also has a ai play and a very good squeeze play to it and as a result typically squeeze play gamma squeezes go hand in hand so let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below right now though with it at five dollars and 21 cents it is recovering slightly and i know over the last week give or take it has been very volatile but still trading within this s1 to this pivot so nothing really crazy hasn't really touched this s1 nor the pivot in a good week so in reality i know soundhound seems to be very volatile but the fib levels and the gap is very wide so you do have to be very aware that soundhound is a extremely volatile stock could potentially touch this 488 but in my opinion it has been holding up like a champ that five dollar support so i think all in all there might be a rebound in the foreseeable future which like i mentioned based off of just what happened on thursday alone it can easily get to around the 580 but there is a lot of resistance levels as you can kind of see right here it is lower percentile of the boiling band hasn't really attempted to to transition into the higher over this last give or take two weeks so i think it is just more of a consolidation time period and for as long as it is above that 50 day moving average i think things should be relatively good and like i said that is exactly this right here that s1 that i've been kind of talking on so as long as this s1 does continue to hold then things should still be relatively good for soundhound you do see it as well very oversold so essentially back to my point if soundhound does put out a good piece of news you will see a rush of value investors and plus momentum ai that whole shebang so you'll see a rush of institutions getting in so that could once again really help but there isn't any defined trend and based on the momentum indicator you can see that just the number of retail investors or overall investors have been getting out so not necessarily the best but i think it does tie into just broader fears lack of news and just many other things so let me know your thoughts on soundhound do you think that there is something in the works i know there's been quite a few rumors out there there i did address one of them i believe it was last video or the one prior to that but there is a lot of rumors out there so i think behind the scenes people are crying out for a piece of news they want the company to succeed and they know it has to be some piece of news it has to be something so we already do know Stellantis and that whole deal is kind of in the works so hopefully that should be some good I guess marketing for Soundhound and once Stellantis is fully on board and they kind of get good reviews then it is just gonna be a domino effect within the OEMs in my opinion so Ford and and whatever else so let me know your thoughts don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe one final thing don't forget to take advantage of this promo simply sign up for an account with Moon with throw $100 at it and they do give you seven fractional shares of the Meg 7 total value roughly about $35 so that is a pretty good return on investment for just throwing $100 at a new account so take advantage of this link in the description below and also the comments with all that said appreciate all of you watching